no shit until I'm dead, I'm gonna be me. Uh, and I ain't never seen this shit before. Ooh, big, big head on the shit. beat. What's going on, everybody? It's Young Leroy 3, and here it is, what everybody's been waiting for, my Queen's Blades build, all right? Um, this is my Stamina Nightblade PvP uh, 1BX build, No Werewolf, No Vampire. Uh, I am claiming this build because I haven't seen anybody else running it. Um, actually, nobody else has ran it because in order to run it, you have to know jewelry crafting or know somebody who has it up already. So we're going to jump right into it. All right, uh, first set. Willow's Path, all right? So great sword of Willow's Path, Nern Hone. What Willow's Path does is two pieces mag recovery, three pieces stam, four pieces health, five pieces increases your health, magic, and stam recovery by 15%, all right? So it's a great sustain set. Next thing we're running, Master's Bow, Infuse, Weapon Damage Enchant. No, nothing special here. Um, next set, we're running a Heavy Valley Helm, Prismatic Glyph, and Pin, all right? All my gear is in pin. Everything is all gold from glyphs. Uh, everything. Except my jewelry. My jewelry is purple, but my glyphs on the jewelry are gold. Um, so, yeah. So, we're running a 5 one, one. Uh, We don't really have a set that gives us uh, max stamp. So, to kind of make up for that, we run a 5 one, one and put the, un the undaunted passives in to uh, give us the uh, little extra boost on max stats. Next set, Shackle Breaker. Uh, my Shackle Breaker is all medium. In pin, Shackle Breaker. That's what it does. Two-piece weapon damage, three-piece spell damage, four-piece magic recovery and stam recovery, five-piece, 2,000 max magic, and 2,000 max stam. So another sustain set. So I run two sustain sets, uh, ultimately. Um, next thing is a Molokina light shoulder, M pin max stam. Molokina gives you a weapon and spell damage. And then the shackle breaker, waist, hands, legs, and feet. And jury. Yep, here it is, Willis Path, crafted set. It's epic, uh, robust. Oh shit, how'd you get it that quick? Shout out to my crafter. Me and him grinded the fuck out of this, and uh, we were able to get it on Wednesday, and I think the DLC dropped Tuesday. Um, so yeah, rings, uh, all weapon damage. Character sheet, stats unbuffed, what everybody wants to see. Max stamp, 31K, max health, 21K. Max magic on the front bar, 13k. On the back bar, it gets to 14k because of the siphoning abilities that we're running. We get that passive, so it gives us an extra thousand on the back bar. Magic recovery, 1563. Holy shit, 1563 unbuffed on a stamp character. That is crazy, but don't worry, it gets even crazier. And then our stamp recovery, 2436. Some people think that's low, but I think they're smoking crack because to me, I'm like, that's pretty freaking. That's all right. Like I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Weapon damage, 3K, and then those are our resistances. Buffer Relentless, just to boost our, uh, and I'm going to do Rally, boost our weapon damage and our stam recovery a little bit. 2568 stam recovery, and then 3583 weapon damage. Uh, if I was to cloak out and cloak, we get up to 3855 weapon damage. Um, what else was I going to do? Oh, and let me go ahead and uh, pop a pot. Boom, magic recovery, 1781. Holy shit, that shit just keeps going up. Yeah, I know. And uh, stam recovery, 2833. So whenever we have continuous two active, because in the screenshot I had one, but now I'm assault level nine, so now I have two active. Our magic recovery gets two. Uh, 2200. Yeah, what the fuck? 2200 on a stam blade? Yeah, 2200 on a stam blade with a 14K max stam pool. Yeah, I know, pretty freaking crazy. And then uh, our stam recovery, well, when we popped the pot, was 28. But uh, when we pop the pot and we have continuous two active, it gets up to 32. And then weapon damage gets up to about 48. So ultimately, you have like over 5k weapon damage. Great. Yeah, no, it's crazy. I don't know how I thought about it, but I did. Skills, nothing special here. Just don't run and execute. Uh, mass hysteria, rally, surprise attack, ambush, relentless focus. If you want to throw in uh, execute, you can put it here. But I use a spectra bow in combination with my end cap uh, as an execute in a way. Uh, why did I do that? Here we go. Back bar, shuffle, figure, leeching strikes, shadowy disguise, poison inject, soul tether. So these two right here, leeching strikes and soul tether, would give me the 14k on the back bar. CP, um, that max CP, I think I'm only a 632. Yeah, 632. So there's always room for improvement. 
So 37 a warlord, 64 in the mooncalf, 43 in a uh, arcanist, uh, 21 a befoul, 46 in tumbling. Nothing there. 17 in the shattering blows. It's just there just because. Uh, 72 in the master at arms. 37 precise strikes, 28 piercing, 56 mighty. Uh, red tree, 56 ironclad, 32 resistance. I'm going to bring this up to about 1,000. 37 thick skinned, 43 hardy, 43 elemental defender. And that is it there. Um, go into poisons. So I'm running these uh, damage magicka poisons. So it increases magicka, increases your victim's magic abilities uh, by 30%. So I choose to run this uh, because a lot of stam abilities or a lot of stam classes rely on magic abilities to survive. So like uh, stam Templars, their purges, their cleanses, their runes, uh, stam blades, their cloaks. I don't play a warden or any other class, but I'm pretty sure they have magic abilities. DKs, yeah. So I'm pretty sure they have magic abilities that they need to survive. So when I pop this on them, the average knight blade who runs around with like, you know, 10k, uh, Max magic, if this is on them, their cloak or their fear costs 5k. So they can only pop two of those and then they're drained at that point. Uh, and then double dot, but these double dots also give me a nice little hot, nice little heal over time. All right, that's that. Um, Slottable. Uh, these are the pots I really run, I really use a lot, infects all three's resources. I have immovable ones as well. I gotta get different ones and I have crit ones just cause. Uh, oh, the, uh, ah, here we go. Drink I'm running. This is what makes the build. No longer running dubious camera and throne. We don't need that shit, all right? Yes, it's a great drink. I think there's an even better drink or something like that, but no, we don't need that. So this is what we run. Jewels of Misrule, all right? So it increases your stamina and magic recovery by 319 and your max health, all right? Really, really great. Um, and... Yeah, I actually believe that is it. Oh, the only other thing, um, a lot of builds don't really have, um, since since you can now do the 5.5.2 with a 2H and bow, they don't really have the Master's Bow. So a lot of people are like, okay, well, how do you run a build with Master's Bow? Um, and this is the way I do it. Um, so if we're on the bow, then we get the Veli, we get the Kina, we get the Shackle Breaker. Only thing is we only get three-piece Willow's Path. So, but we still get the magic and the stand, which is really what we need. The fifth trait would be nice, but on our back bar, you know, we're still sitting fine. And then if I pop a uh, relentless, our uh, stand recovery gets up to like 23, 24, right? So still good in that aspect. So, yep, that's the build. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you want to run it, by far, it is really, really fun. It is meant for 1VXing. Um, you can do 2VXing, uh, which I do with my brother all the time. Shout out Mama's Boy 63. Uh, you'll see him. Uh, you'll see him uh, in my clips. Uh, me and him are pretty much OP together, all right? Because he has a really retarded, like a good way retarded uh, OP Stamplar. So that's it. This is the Queen's Blades build. Um, let me know what you think about it. That's my word. Get up in their face. Talk your shit. Let your nuts drag, nigga. These niggas just running at their fucking mouth, man. Follow protocol, blood. Get in their fucking chest, nigga. Yeah. We the fucking mob, nigga. These niggas bleed different. We don't bleed, nigga. We make niggas bleed, blood. Treyway. These niggas said it hurting me. I ain't hurting you. Get the fuck up out my fucking face before I murder you. Bitch, niggas on a jacket block, but I know they fool. Full of fucking killers, I'm a killer too Selling shots, 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 nigga Everybody get it pop, 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 nigga The big old rah, 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 nigga We selling shots, 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 so nigga Hey, six nine this and six nine that Niggas on my dick and on my yak These niggas looking for me, you can hit my jack I done drop my address and know it's six nine that I'll flunk you Nine to the back like Ibaka, Baka Not nice with the fucking top up Smoke, I don't really see it though These niggas said it hurting me I 
I'ma kill her too Send shots, 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 nigga Everybody get pop, pop, pop 